Argentina has just raised their interest rate of their central bank to 97%. So if you if you hold Argentinian debt, if you invest in their currency, you'll earn 97% on your money. And it's funny, they raised their interest rate by 6%. So their interest rate was already at 91% and they've raised it to 97 So um, yeah, it's just pretty amazing. Now they... They actually have a presidential election coming up. So they're trying to obviously rein in inflation. Last month's inflation was above 100% in Argentina. So in case you were thinking of uh, saying, wait, let's, mm -hmm. let's invest in uh, Argentinian currency and I'll earn 97% on my money. Well, think again, because if inflation's over 100, well, let's say inflation is 100%, you're getting 97% interest, but inflation's at 100, then actually you're negative 3%, right? So, so you're not going to be earning any money. Right now in the world, there's only two countries that have higher inflation than Argentina, and that is Zimbabwe and Venezuela. And here's what CNN said about this. So Argentina's central bank is also hoping to, uh, that the rate hike will incentivize investments uh, in the country's currency according to the central bank statement released on Monday. The exorbitant inflation resulted in large outflows of investments held in Argentinian peso, leading to a 23% decline in its value against the dollar last year. So, yeah, Argentina's in trouble. <laughs> I'm not putting any money there, that's for sure. I mean, Zimbabwe is at 150%. They blame it on the fact that Russia and Ukraine is having a war. Argentina, who has a lot of natural resources, it's very interesting to figure out what what are they doing. I mean, in in April, the International Monetary Fund gave Argentina a break on a forty four billion dollar loan that they have, but they've also gone through this crisis in nineteen ninety eight. In nineteen ninety eight, they 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 had a beginning of what's a Great Depression there. I wonder how much this relates back to like the, the communist investment into South America, which really makes me think about, cause you know, you look at Venezuela who, who basically was the most prosperous country in South America up until the two thousands when they were completely taken over by a socialist agenda that took all their wealth within a matter of 20 years, they went from the, the richest country in South America to among the poorest in a blink of an eye, really, when you talk about history, why is their inflation gone up so much? What, what's happened? Zimbabwe gives us a reason. Venezuela is pretty, pretty clear what's going on there. But when you look into it, it's like, why you go from 6% to 91%, probably going to go higher. I wouldn't be surprised if their interest rates went over a hundred percent.